Good morning and welcome to Thought for the Day for Thursday the 14th of January. This morning I thought I would read today's collect and then just to share a bit about um, what a collect is and a little bit about the history of collects. So here is this morning and in fact this week's collect. Eternal Father, who at the baptism of Jesus revealed him to be your son, anointing him with the Holy Spirit. Grant to us who are born again by water and the Spirit that we may be faithful to our calling as your adopted children. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So a collect, it's a simple prayer, which was traditionally spoken by a priest um, who would speak it collectively um, on behalf of the people. And the collect would focus on the worship of those present and bringing it together in a simple prayer. And there is a collect written for each Sunday of the year. And then it is then repeated throughout the following week during the daily offices. So during morning prayer, evening prayer and Compline. Um, collects, they are very rich theologically and many are very old, some dating back to the 16th century and the first books of common prayer. And all of the collects roughly follow a pattern which was developed by Archbishop Cranmer. And the collects can be divided then into three sections. So the opening section of a collect, it's an address to God and it's speaking something of his character or his actions in the world. So for this week's collect, it reads, Eternal Father, who at the baptism of Jesus revealed him to be your son, anointing him with the Holy Spirit. So that's speaking about God's character and his actions. And then the second part is a request or a petition. It's asking for something for God's people. So today's collect says, grant to us who are born again by water and the spirit that we may be faithful to our calling as your adopted children. So that second part is a request. And then the last part, the close, it asks God to be present among his people and it expresses praise to God. So for this week's collect, we read, Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Collect, it also guides us through the Christian year. So you might have noticed that today's Collect refers to Jesus's baptism. And following the lectionary this Sunday, the Gospel reading was about Jesus's baptism. Um, the Collects and Advent, they prepare us for Christmas. And the Collects through Lent prepare us for Easter. But some Collects, um, they are generic and they can be used at any time of the year. But right through the year, the collects, they help us to focus on God's character, what he is doing in the world and how he loves to answer our prayers. So, as I mentioned, this week's collect focuses on Jesus's baptism. And I think it's a great reminder to each one of us that if Jesus, who was fully God and fully man, if Jesus needed to be baptised, and relied upon the anointing of the Holy Spirit and working alongside the Holy Spirit for his entire ministry, then how much more do we need our baptism and to be anointed by the Holy Spirit, to be asking the Holy Spirit into our lives and to be seeking to work alongside the Holy Spirit? How much more do we need that in our lives? And this collector also reminds us of the Great Commission at the end of Matthew's Gospel, 
which mentions um, baptism and us as disciples our calling and I should just read that so it's the end of Matthew's gospel um, it's chapter 28 verses 19 to 20 and it says go therefore and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit and teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you so I will just finish by reading again today's collect, also this week's collect. Eternal Father, who at the baptism of Jesus revealed him to be your son, anointing him with the Holy Spirit. Grant to us, who are born again by water and the Spirit, that we may be for faithful to our calling as your adopted children. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So have a good rest of your day. Bye bye.